pink one. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Flowers look so innocent, but just like humans, they can be manipulative and very picky about their mates. Take pink lady slippers and blue flag irises, two common bumblebee pollinated plants. Lady slippers use an architectural trick to get insects to transport their pollen for free. Bumblebees are attracted by the lady slippers bulbous pink petals. And the bumblebee will land right here and go inside this chamber and get caught. It's dark inside, except for a small exit hole on either side of the base of the flower. Colorful hairs guide the bee towards the light. Along the narrow way, the bee is forced into contact with the female part, the stigma, depositing pollen. When the bee squeezes through the exit hole, Pollen gets glued to her head, ready to be transferred to the next flower. Irises use a different trick to choose whose pollen to accept. The male parts, the stamens, sit at the base of petal-like sepals. And that's where the bumblebee is going to pick up pollen and carry it off to the next flower. What's unusual is that the iris's lip-like female parts can move and that allows her to be picky about pollen. So when the female is not receptive to her own pollen, say, it stays shut, and when the female's ready to accept pollen, it'll open right up. What do you suppose would happen if we put a mesh bag over a flower to exclude insects? Ironically, it's a bridal veil, but we're gonna use that to keep the flower virgin from being uh, visited by any pollinators. The female part, the stigma, will stretch farther and farther, farther, and farther as if out. looking for pollen. And ultimately, if she still hasn't been pollinated and the flower is getting close to the end of its life, which is two or three days old, she'll actually pick up her own pollen because it's the best thing she can do at that point. There are 250,000 flowering plant species on Earth, each one of them with an amazing pollination story Very. to tell. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs>